and girls happy sabbath it's such a beautiful day and you know what i feel so happy i am so privileged that i'm able to join with you in the comfort of your homes just to pray with you there are many persons all around the south of leeward conference who are praying for our children today so come with me and i shall be happy to take you on our journey of prayer so may God bless you as you tune in to our prayer session. And remember, boys and girls, whatever happens, always remember that God has you covered. Hello, everybody, especially to all the boys and girls. We are so happy to be here with you today on our journey of prayer. We have one of our very precious gems with us today to talk to us about prayer. And her name is Shaliko Benjamin. Shaliko Benjamin is a grade four student that she attends the Seventh-day Adventist Primary School. She loves school. She excels in the spelling bee all the time. Shaliko is a daughter of Pastor Shelton Benjamin and Mrs. Shelton. Benjamin, and we're so happy to have her here with us today. Philippa, we're delighted that in all the many things that people say about you, that you love to pray. So you're going to tell me today, my dear, what does prayer mean to you? Prayer is one of the most important things in my life. It teaches me to have a relationship with God and how to talk to Him. Wonderful! That is so wonderful. Tell me some of the things that you pray for. I pray for health, for my family, to protect all the boys and girls, for success in my schoolwork, and help me to love God more. That is so wonderful, to love God more. I love that. I pray that God will continue to be with you. And how important, Shaliko, is prayer in the life of a child? When children communicate with God, it helps them to be respectful and they are able to make better choices. Wonderful. 
At this time, we're going to ask you as a guest speaker today to kindly pray for all the children, the children who have been listening to you around South Legal Conference and in other parts of the world. I would ask you, Shaliko, at this time that you please pray for them. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for life and for strength. I pray that you bless all the people who are watching, especially the children and the children who are homeless, even though they are not watching right now. I pray that you bless all of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Boys and girls, it was a pleasure today having with us Miss Shaliqa Benjamin. And thank you, ma'am, for being with us today. We were delighted to have you as our guest speaker for our children's prayer time. Bye. Bye. We have our prayer journal here with lots of prayers. And I see so many names in this book. I see names like Kaliqua, Sahiria, Kenneth, Jordan, Kestina, Rikel. Kendria, Shireen, Michaela, Anili, Michael, oh yes, lots of names, Sharon, Sharonella, Shawnee, Kezia, oh so many names boys and girls, there's just too many names, you have sent your request but God knows every name, God knows your name, we're going to put the request on the screen and we are going to ask Pastor Joseph to pray for us, so listen to the voice of Pastor Joseph as he prays for our prayer request today, God bless. Eternal God and our loving Heavenly Father, we come to you today, give acknowledging that you are our creator, sustainer, our redeemer. We ask, kind Father, that you will have mercy upon us and forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Clothe us with your righteousness, O oh God, that we might stand acceptably in your presence. We ask, kind Father, that you will continue to watch over us, guide us, and protect us. We want to thank you for the blessings that you have given to us, the way that you have protected us and shielded us. And we ask that you will continue to be available to us, uh, to bask in your presence, to shelter under your um, divine protection, to feel your assurance and your presence. Father, today, in this day of prayer, we ask that you will be with your people, especially the children, especially those who are involved in Christian education. We want to ask that you will keep them healthy and protect them from uh, whatever might be around, especially as we focus on COVID-19, kind Father, we pray that you'll continue to shield your people, but we pray for their general health um, that they will focus, kind Father, on ensuring that they live healthy lives, but also that you'll protect them from sickness, disease, and whatever it is that might undermine the process of health and, and keep your people healthy. We pray, kind Father, also that you will be with your schools. Uh, they have faced many challenges. Uh, we have set out as uh, people to make sure that Christian education is available to every member and we have sought to do so at a cost that would make it possible and in these times when things are really rough and tough and on individuals uh, it's a challenge to be able to find resources to maintain Christian education we want to ask that you will be with your schools be with the parents be with the children be with the teachers in a very special way. We thank you for their commitment and dedication uh, to serving in your cause, working with you as co-laborers. We want to ask that you'll be with our families, that you'll watch over them, that you'll guide God and protect them, that you'll shield them from any destructive forces, kind Father. We pray that they'll always bask in your presence and be a living witness of 
your divine guidance and protection and how as a family we reflect God and his principles in our lives. We pray for healing, kind Father. Many are sick with some seemingly incurable diseases, whether it be cancer or AIDS or whatever it is, kind Father. We just want to present those individuals before you. Some folks are just struggling with some pains, some aches. We ask that you will intervene on their behalf. We pray, kind Father, that you will also be with those who are struggling with mental challenges and illness kind father we place them in your hand and ask for your divine guidance we ask that you'll protect our children from abuse and from those who will seek to do them harm kind father we pray that you'll shield them and shelter them and may they always know those who will reflect the loving caring and compassion of a god who loves and and watches over his children we ask that you will help them kind father that they will find loving families mothers and fathers and siblings who would support them and encourage them and strengthen them and may as they grow from day to day they will continue to um feel the benefits and see the benefits and experience the blessings of a God who loves and cares for them. We commit them all into your care today. Bless them, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Play a fruits of the Spirit, our love, joy, peace, love, suffering. Do you think 
by eating so much sweets that you are taking care of your body? Even in Galatians 5.23, it says that one of the fruits of the Spirit is self-control. Did God really say that? Mm-hmm. Yes, he did. God made all of us, so he knows exactly what is best for us. Your mommy loves you a lot, too, and she wants you to be strong and healthy. Oh, okay. I guess that you have a good point. I guess so. So, you know what? We all want to be healthy, so I will try to eat healthily. Not five scoops of ice cream, but maybe one every now and again. That's very good. How about we pray so that we can ask God to help us to have self-control? Yes, let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for the guidance you gave us in the Bible, and thank you for giving us parents who love and care for us. Please give us strength and self-control, and bless our bodies so that we can grow strong and healthy like you want us to. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. And amen. Isn't prayer a wonderful thing? Thank you. All right. Bye, honey. I'm going to go work in my garden. <laughs>